Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hunter. For those of you who are returning, thanks for coming back. For those of you who are new, thanks for coming. So today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite Mac apps. And uh, we're just gonna kind of jump in and I'm not gonna do a full like review of all of them just to keep things moving a little bit faster. But if you guys see anything on here that you want a deeper dive into, definitely let me know and we can do that. First and foremost, a lot of these apps come from a collection of applications that you get when you pay for a subscription to an app called SetApp. Now this is not sponsored by SetApp, I just really like using a lot of the programs that it offers. And basically you pay like one set amount of money and then you get a ton of different applications. And I was basically almost already paying as much as you pay for SetApp for just one of these for like a couple years and didn't really know about it. So it kind of made sense. So let's jump right in. First and foremost, if you look at the top of my screen over at the menu bar at the top, there's not a lot of things going on up there, but when I go over to these three dots, it opens up a ton. So inside of here is everything that would normally be at the top of my screen, but consolidated down makes it really clean. This is an app called Bartender. Bartender is one that has been around for a while. A lot of people recommend it. And I took a while to actually jump in, but it's pretty simple. And you can kind of customize what you want up there, what you want hidden and what you want to just stay out. So my display brightness, I keep up. I don't hide that one. I don't hide like my battery percentage, all that. But everything else from apps that I might need, Bluetooth, things like my Stream Deck app has to be open for my profiles to work and for my different pages to work, but it's annoying having it up there. So hide it right there. And then Magnet, which is another app I'm about to show you here in a second. It has to be open for it to work, but it's not something you necessarily need the icon or the options for. So it's nice to hide those things. But Bartender is an amazing one. I'll just open it up here so you can see it. It looks like this, Bartender and then you can customize what you want up there. You can add spaces like I have done right here. There's a ton of options. You can play around with it. It's a customization, optimization, cleanliness app, if you will. We're gonna move on from that one since it is pretty simple as well. So inside of that bar, if we open it up again, you can see something that you might not see or recognize on your MacBook. And it is these over here, my CPU, memory, my bandwidth, uh, my, the heat of my machine, basically a lot of things that you would have to go into the activity monitor and go into certain kind of more hidden places in the Mac to check out. And they're still not very intuitive, but up here I have all the stats that I have chosen. I want up here. So my CPU usage, you can see kind of what's running, um, memory processor, threads, cores. Um, and that's really nice. I like being able to see how it's spreading across the workload on the cores, and you can kind of just go through and look at all the stats over time, everything, my memory up here, what's using it, how much swap is being used, how much is cached, if I'm overloading my memory, how much swap is being used, like I said right there, but you get a bigger uh, view of it, and you can kind of see what is using a lot of RAM, and if you need to like figure out, close some apps, that kind of stuff. This is gonna give you a much nicer look at it versus the Apple Activity Monitor, which I use sometimes, like when I used to not have this, I would use that all the time. I would open it up if I knew I was about to do something that was gonna stress the system out just so I could keep an eye on it. But with this, it's just right here at the top and I can just either look at it here with this blue bar or I can open it up and see what's going on a little bit more in depth. And then this is the heat sensor. Nice to have up there. You can kind of see what how hot everything is here. And the cool thing about this is it's telling me right now my system is controlling my fans, but let's say it's really hot on this and Apple does a very uh, strict job of making sure your fans never spin unless they really have to because they want it to be silent. They want it to be, you know, the best user experience, but Sometimes you want those fans on because it's hot or it's on your lap or you're out, you know, in the heat and you're just like, feel how hot it is, but it's not quite hot enough for Apple to turn the fans on. So you can use this little dial here to turn on your fans to a certain percentage. You can 
edit the fan rules to tell it like how hot you want it to get before it turns on. So you have a little bit of customization in that sense where you can make sure this thing runs smoother. And if you don't need like a super quiet environment, I keep hitting that. If you don't need like a super quiet environment, that's an awesome thing to have. Now I realize at this point, I haven't really even told you what the app is. This app is called iStat Menus. So this is one of the more popular applications for monitoring just your system. So this next one is going to be another kind of just under the hood app that makes sure you are keeping your Mac healthy. So actually pretty small, not really an app, more of, like I said, a behind the scenes task is called Al Dente. So it's not good for your Mac or your phone or anything to be fully charged all the time, right at hundred percent, or it's not good for it to die there's kind of a sweet spot for batteries. However, if you're like me and you use your laptop most of the time at your desk plugged into an external monitor or a USB hub, nowadays, most of those things just automatically charge your laptop while they're plugged in. This is nice, I enjoy that feature because it's just one cable, charging, transfer, monitors, everything. But because of that, your MacBook is always usually maxed out on the battery. Al Dente gives you the power to basically make your own rules. As you see here, I have a charge limit of 80. What that means is while this is plugged in, it is going to charge it up to 80% and then stop it. It will not let it charge anymore. And then once it's at 80, it will just run off of the power brick and then that's it. It keeps it there and then it, I have it set up, I believe to where it won't go below 20 or 10%. And so it kind of keeps it in that sweet spot. Now, if for some reason it is charged above 80 and then you wanna plug it into a monitor that charges it, but you don't want it to just hold it there, you can click this discharge button that will basically make it block off the charging until you get into that sweet spot. And you can also hit this top up button right here as well. If you know that you're about to go to a coffee shop or go somewhere else to work where you won't be plugged in, you can do that to allow it to charge all the way so you're not like brick walling it, but you have those options. So last but not least, this is going to be one that I know a lot of people already know of or use, and it is going to be Clean My Mac X. Now this right here is gonna be kind of the menu bar item of it, and you can kind of get a view of your system, gives you some malware protection, battery, all that kind of stuff. But when we open it up is when it really becomes pretty powerful. Now I will say, I have had a love-hate relationship with this application because if you don't know what you're doing with it, you can delete things that aren't supposed to be deleted because it allows you to dig deeper into your system files and just kind of delete mostly whatever you want. What I recommend is something like this for its smart scan feature. So smart scan is going to search your system for junk files and trash, leftovers, processes that it can run to optimize your Mac and so that's gonna be super nice to have, just to show you scan, cleanup, protection, and speed. It's gonna run through all that kind of stuff, but you can do system junk, mail attachments, trash bins. It also has malware removal, which is awesome. Privacy, it'll look through and see uh, browsing traces in your history, and it'll sweep kind of your computer to see if anything is weird. Optimization, it will let you turn off login items and launch agents, since there's a lot of things that you probably don't know about that automatically turn on when you log into your computer, just in the background to check for updates and that kind of stuff. A lot of those I don't like. So my launch agents, see like right here, set app updater, I don't want that. Set app launcher, I don't want that. Set app, I don't want that. Loop back, nope. I turned off already a lot here, but one big one is gonna be the Adobe apps. Do not want that. Adobe is full of bloatware, it's awful. Clean my Mac updater, don't want that. Arturia Software Center, don't want that. So like. As soon as you turn on your computer, there's a billion programs that just open up little things in the background and it eats up your computer, your GPU, CPU, what have you. Moving on, maintenance, free up RAM, free up purgeable space. There's, it just, it does a ton here. And you can even do uninstaller to fully uninstall apps and all the little remnants files that are scattered around your Mac. Cause a lot of times you'll miss those. You have updater, it can check for updates on apps extensions. So if there are random extensions of apps that you don't want, you can look for those as well. And then space lens is going to be something that kind of opens up your hard drive a lot deeper than you normally would be able to see. So you can find files that might be in weird places and delete them here. 
And then you have large and old files, which is one that just finds things that you haven't used in a while that are taking up a ton of space and lets you see those and see if you wanna delete them. And then Shredder is going to be like a very safe deletion tool. So it makes sure that everything is wiped entirely, which is nice since data sticks around. Even when you delete things on a computer, usually it's not like actually deleted until your hard drive is full and it needs that space. But anyway, there's a ton of stuff you can use in this. As long as you're careful, it can kind of really help your computer. Anyway, let's move on. The last one is going to be one of my favorites and it's one of the most simple applications that you can get. And it's gonna be Magnet. So as you can see, I opened Magnet, nothing happened. It's because it's really not an application. You can see it up here and you have some options. But basically what Magnet does is it makes your MacBook's window management system 10 times better because it's trash unfortunately. So as I, I'll open up a Safari tab here and usually you just kind of have to resize things and put it where you want. What Magnet does, which is really awesome, is if you see, if I drag this up to the top, over to the side, you see that box appearing? Let's say I want this over there, fills it up right there. If I want this to fill the whole screen, there we go. So basically it's just going to allow you to much more simply organize windows if you want to have a few things open at a time. And so I can pull this off to this side. If I just want it on the top, we can do that as well. This is just something that you'll forget you have, but if it were to ever like for some reason shut off or stop working or you got a new one and didn't download it, you're gonna realize it because you're gonna have to be resizing things manually and it gets really annoying. It's a life changer. I, I truly mean that, it sounds really weird, but especially if you're doing a lot of productivity work, it is going to make your life a lot easier. So that is gonna be it for me today, guys. I will link these apps down in the description below. Again, nobody uh, in those apps is sponsoring this video. These are just things that I truly use every day and I find myself downloading on every new Mac that I get. So take that for what it is. If you want all of them, most of those, a Magnet isn't part of it, There's a, I don't think. There's a few apps that it doesn't have, but if you want most of those for like one subscription price, Setapp is an awesome thing to check out. You get a lot of tools out of it, like hundreds of apps for one price. This should be sponsored, but there's just a, a lot of things you can get out of that as well. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to leave a like or a comment. If you're new here, consider subscribing, ringing the notification bell for more Mac videos and tech videos, that kind of stuff. And also this is kind of a new setup. This is, I'm trying out some new angles in the studio. So let me know if you like this one. I need to put some stuff on that wall. That wall is very blank. I think this looks better than what I've been doing here. And so we'll, we'll try to stick with this and see how it goes. But let me know if you like this. If you do, I'll probably just stick here. This is, this is our new thing. So anyway, I will leave you guys with that. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I also hope to see you in the next one.